Hey, it's Tom Henson with my intern, Flash. Hey, Flash. City of LaSalle Foundation was the vision of Danny Pyland. You've heard from Danny at least a couple of times since the foundation's founding last year. I interviewed her about it at about the time that she announced the new foundation. And then you saw it at work last summer in the form of the first Quiet Fest in LaSalle. The foundation's mission is to support community and economic development will prioritize social and economic justice, as they put it. Another goal is to improve the lives of our youth, those choosing gender identities and all minorities. The most immediate project selected by the foundation is the lack of affordable and reliable childcare. So they're working on that, but they're getting some events going to start. The inaugural Quiet Fest last year was a roving arts and music festival on the last Friday and Saturday in September, and it was an outdoor celebration of all kinds of talent that we have here, and it was a success. So the next phase was rolled out this past week. It happened on August 15th, otherwise noted as 815 or 815 day. It was a day of service around LaSalle. Some folks spent time cleaning up St. Mary's Park behind the Illinois Veterans Home. Some spruced up the canal area, but the point was to do something. And it shouldn't be confined to 815 day either. It's meant to encourage regular stewardship and pride. If you weren't able to be part of the organized community service 815 day, but you still are working to spruce up LaSalle or you're giving back in some way, you're encouraged to post it to the City of LaSalle Foundation social media. Thanks to Kathleen Whalen of Whalen Financial and LaSalle for sponsoring this weekly project. Your support is appreciated and noted every week. I was able to catch up with Danny Pyland on Thursday at the inaugural 815 day. So 815 day is a day of service that we are doing right now just in the city of LaSalle. So um, the City of LaSalle Foundation is an organization that is committed to community development. And for us, that means a couple of things. Um, and among them is bringing people together in the interest of community service. It's been great. You know, frankly, Tom, the timing is kind of terrible because kids go back to school tomorrow. Um, but I know, but we couldn't, you know, we couldn't miss this opportunity. I didn't feel like we could miss the opportunity to really, um, sort of seize 815 as a moment. I would love to see this as, you know, a standing day of service for our entire community. I think one of the things that's so beautiful about living in LaSalle is that despite the fact that this is a relatively small town, we have this incredibly rich, vibrant, and diverse nonprofit sector. Um, and that means there are a lot of people out here who are service-minded, a lot of people who've dedicated their careers and their lives to service, uh, but it doesn't have to be that, right? You don't have to dedicate your entire life to community service to make an impact on your community. That's what we're doing today. So most of what we're doing today is cleanup projects. So we had a crew here at St. Mary's, which is just here behind the veterans home. Um, and then we've got a big crew down on the towpath at the canal, which is, I think, just a terribly underutilized resource in LaSalle. It's a really beautiful spot. Um, I hang out down there with my kids and I go running on the towpath every now and again. I know a couple of the people who are on the cleanup crew down there are regular users of the canal. So I'm excited that we can make a nice visible impact in a place that might need it. We encouraged people who are, you know, because of the timing and because it was a little bit short notice when we started publicizing this, um, we also encourage people who are doing service projects to let us know that they're doing them. It doesn't have to be, you know, if cleaning up isn't your thing, if there's accessibility issues, if you hate getting dirty, whatever, if you don't want to be out, it's gross outside. Um, if you don't want to be outside, there's so many other things that we can be doing. Um, and I think by this time next year, we're going to be in a really good position to have aggregated a bunch of information and opportunities from our local nonprofits. Um, and hopefully we can get some new volunteers for a lot of organizations that are really worthy of help. City of LaSalle Foundation is an organization that we founded, I guess, about a year and a half ago. Um, and it was really founded as um, kind of an umbrella organization. The idea is for us to be as flexible as possible. You know, I keep mentioning how great our nonprofit sector is. We have the LaSalle Business Association. Um, we also have the City of LaSalle. And those organizations do such a, you know, a tremendous job of focusing on economic development with a specific lens on business development. And I own businesses, right, and I have for a long time in LaSalle. So, of course, that's really important. Um, but I also recognize that economic development isn't strictly business development. It's also things like making sure there are clean parks, making sure that our um, educational opportunities are vibrant and diverse, that they're accessible for everyone, um, making sure that we have arts programs, cultural um, options. So what we do at the City of LaSalle Foundation is, um, you know, the phrase that comes to mind is kind of lie in wait, but what that, actu what that actually means is that 
we're pretty nimble. We're small. We don't have staff. It's just a handful of volunteers. Um, and we're in a position where as needs arise in our community, we can meet them. So last year was the inaugural Quiet Fest. This huge, it was two days last year, a roving arts and music festival where we had um, we had some kids activities. We had some activities for grown-ups. We had 750 people show up in the first year of the event, which is just like crazy, um, and raised about $10,000 for the foundation. So that's cool. But I think what's cooler is that as we kind of went through the event and we took feedback from our participants, from people who showed up, from the businesses that were so supportive as sponsors, um, from all of our partners, we took that feedback and really thought about how we could make the event a value of itself, in and of itself. Um, so this year we have uh, expanded the event. So we're gonna run Thursday through Sunday. We've added a couple of really cool things. Um, the Saturday event is kind of the sort of the flagship. It's like the hallmark of Quiet Fest. And what's the date? So it is Saturday. Saturday is the 27th, 28th. So it runs 26th through the 29th, I guess. Um, so Thursday is the 26th. So Saturday the 28th. Um, and on Saturday the 28th, we have, I think right now we have eight artists um, who are leading make and takes for kids at the Pocket Park on First Street in LaSalle. Um, we are planning a kids talent show, which is going to be so cool and exciting. Um, we have some performers who are explicit, explicitly family, family friendly. Um, so some entertainers, there's going to be snacks. And then at night, we also have stuff for the grownups. Um, so one of the things that we took from last year's event was that, you know, it's great that we're offering some programming for kids, but they were hungry for it. We had that Nerf course set up there on First Street. I remember you were out there and there were just kids everywhere. Um, and I think it's so neat to be able to offer opportunities for whole families to enjoy something together. Um, so that's what we're doing with this year's Quiet Fest. I expect that it'll continue to grow um, and we're always looking for volunteers for that. If people want to get involved with any of these things, how do they reach you? Easiest way is our Facebook page. So you'll find us at City of LaSalle Foundation on Facebook. Super easy. Um, you know, I am always at the bar at Sanctuary. Uh, Peyton Lamps is my partner in, not crime, uh, partner in service here. Um, and you'll always find her at Petals by Peyton. Thanks. Sure. Thank you, Tom. Now, Danny and her organization continue to build on her vision of service for the community with Quiet Fest and 815 Day sort of the start of everything. What's next, you might ask? Well, you can bet that she's going to come up with more. And when she does, we're going to share it with you. And who knows? Maybe we'll meet you on a future project. Thanks, of course, to Danny Pyland for her commitment to her vision. Thanks to you for checking it out. And thanks to Kathleen Wayland of Wayland Financial and LaSalle for making it possible to share these stories with you. And I'll talk to you in the morning.